Hey everybody, Soda Hunter here, and uh, I have a root beer that I actually found in Virginia. Now, this particular brand is Frosty. Uh, this is what I have, a Frosty Vanilla Root Beer. Um, the actual brand Frosty is not something I'm unfamiliar with. It is common where I live. Actually, it's all over the place. Uh, right where I, right down the street from where I work, it's actually... Uh, Got about five or six different flavors of Frosty, and uh, a lot of the gas stations down here carry it. But, there's certain flavors that don't show up down here, and this is one of them. Usually we just get uh, the root beer, there's a blue cream soda, um, uh, maybe, there might be a blue raspberry too, I could be wrong about that. I want to say there's a strawberry one, or um, cola, I think I've seen a cola down here before, I could be wrong about that. But it's the same typical ones over and over. Nothing that really jumps out at me to make me ever want to just... Now, I will eventually try them all. But there was nothing that ever wanted me to just go out and get that as a soda. And actually, I don't think I've ever had a Frosty. Um, I could be wrong about that. Now that I think about it. I could have had an orange cream. But I'm not sure. Or an orange. Um, actually, I'm not sure about that. I, I probably already did a video on it. Shows what kind of research I do. But um, this I actually found in Virginia, uh, along with a couple other flavors of Frosty that I haven't seen before, so I picked those up. This was at a truck stop, a uh, restaurant slash truck stop called Sheets. And uh, looking forward to this one. Vanilla root beer always sounds good. Uh, that's my go-to whenever I go to a uh, anywhere that actually has it. You know, that, that's a go-to for me on a uh, like a freestyle fountain or something like that. Vanilla root beer. It's like the only options they have for root beer, but still. Uh, let's see. Ingredients. Carbonated water, pure cane sugar, caramel color, sodium benzoate, citric acid, natural and artificial flavors. I'm not expecting this to be anything special. I'm expecting... I, I, by the way, I like the caps. The caps are really neat. But um, I'm expecting this to be just a plain, ordinary tasting root beer with some vanilla added to it. And I cannot twist that off. Machine twisted. I cannot twist it off myself. So I am going to use the mason jar for this one here. Let's see. There you go. Not that frothy actually for a root beer. It's actually very, very light froth. It smells, it smells kind of medicinal. It's definitely root beer, but I don't really smell the vanilla, but I do smell like, uh, it, it reminds me of the, uh, root beers that have sassafras in them. They have that, uh, medicinal smell, kind of like a Vicks Vapor Rub. Uh, it's very light, but it does have that scent. Hmm. Uh, now I don't know what to expect from this, because I didn't expect it to smell like that. So, uh, let's see. That's weird. That's really weird. It's almost like it has some, uh, it's got some kind of mint in it. It's what it tastes like. It really tastes like it has mint in it. Maybe even spearmint. And that is very strange. Um, I hope I'm not wrong about that. I was uh, I was eating some uh, mint earlier today, but it shouldn't have stuck around this long. It smells like it has mint in it, and it uh, tastes like it has mint in it. I really don't think that me having a mint a couple hours ago is going to affect the way this tastes now. No, I'm not wrong. It should have already washed the mint out anyway by now. Anyway, I still have the same flavor. It's a very light carbonation, um, light flavored root beer, but it's got a... I don't taste any vanilla, honestly. If it's there, it's so small, I hardly ever... I hardly get any trace of it. The biggest thing I taste is mint. Uh, spearmint, probably. That's the biggest thing I taste. That is, um, 
Eh, it's, it's okay. It's not really that good, honestly. It's uh, serviceable, but it's not not anything special. Nothing that's gonna let me go out of the way to get it. Uh, a lot of the cheaper root beers like that, you can uh, pretty much sense what it's gonna taste like initially. And uh, that's pretty much the same way that I thought it would it would taste. That kind of a cheap root beer flavor, just with some added mint to it. Yeah, not a real big fan of this. Um, the vanilla is non-existent to me. I don't know why vanilla is even labeled on there. You could have just told me it was straight root beer, and I wouldn't have been able to detect any vanilla. So, I wish it would have vanilla in it. I would have probably liked it better, or had more vanilla in it, but it doesn't. Its other flavors are a little too strong for me. It's completely drowning out any root beer flavor. The root beer flavor I have is not that good. I would say buyer beware on a frosty vanilla root beer. Um, if you happen to come across one, you want to check it out, up to you. Go ahead. I don't, you know, don't let my opinion stop you from getting anything. Uh, everybody should try everything at least once. You know, you never know what you're going to like. I could have swore up and down I'd like that, but I don't. So, oh well, oh well. Uh, it's uh, buyer beware. If you like this video, follow me on Twitter at Soda underscore Hunter. Facebook.com slash Soda Hunter Kevin. Subscribe to the channel, like the video, comment down below, and be sure to follow the Soda Jerks on Twitter at the Soda Jerks. Check out the website, thesodajerks.net, for hundreds more reviews just like this one. And until next time, happy hunting.